BlackRock is the richest company in the world, but a lot of people point out they just hold assets for their clients and the money isn't technically theirs. But that's actually false and here's where things get interesting. Now, while it's true most of what they do is hold money for other people, over $10 trillion in assets, their balance sheet has more than $100 billion. But what are they doing with their more than $100 billion? And more importantly, are they buying any Bitcoin with that? Well, fortunately for us, US laws stipulate that BlackRock must disclose every three months their updated financials. And folks, I did some digging. I found the form. So where I'm at right now is sec.gov. We're on the official government website. And this is the form where BlackRock had to file this and they have to disclose what they're doing. And then it's this thing right here, the 13FHR, uh, the holdings report. And so when we click on this, it gives us a good breakdown of all the moves that they're making financially. And folks, I don't know if this is by design or just a coincidence, but the website actually crashed. I swear, I've, I've tried looking at this. I'm trying to do the digging and the SEC's own governmental website just crashes. And so folks, let's really do some digging. So now I'm at BlackRock's official site and folks, it's gonna start getting even more conspiratorial. So this is all their investment funds. Now, like I said, primarily they hold assets for other clients, but they have a hundred billion dollars of their own cash deployed. It's not just the 10 trillion that they're holding for the big banks. And so when we scroll down here, you see all their ETFs and it's listed by popularity here. This is the iShares S&P 500. It is the most popular one. But when we scroll down, the conspiracy starts with well, when you see iBit, there is actually zero stats right here. And so this has actually been outperforming all the other mutual funds. And so if they were to put this on this website, imagine being a BlackRock client. Hey, BlackRock, I gave you a billion dollars. You told me to put it in the S&P 500, but I see you're putting your own money into Bitcoin and Bitcoin has outperformed all your other mutual funds. But if you look on their website, you can't see that iBit is outperforming everybody. Now this is because they don't have year over year or five year uh, percentage gains, but I would be quite livid. I would be very upset if I gave BlackRock a billion or $10 billion and they told me to put into the slower horse while they themselves were betting on the faster horse. But are they betting on this? Well, let's do even more digging. Now, fortunately, other people were able to look at that 13 HR filing before it crashed. And I don't know if this is everybody's looking at it. That's why it's crashing. But Macro Scope, they did a really good job knocking this out of the park here in the 13F filing today. BlackRock disclosed ownership of two and a half million shares of their own IBIT valued at almost a hundred million dollars. Now this is a new financial report, but this is as of September 30th because they get a little bit of delay when they tell you what they're doing quarter to quarter. Now folks, this is where it's interesting. This is a new position. The manager designation is BlackRock Advisors LLC. And then that was the page where the website ended up crashing. But the saga continues. Matthew Siegel, he's the head of digital assets research at Van Eck. He realized not only that, but appears BlackRock Advisors bought its own Ethereum ETFs in one of its mutual funds as well. But heck, what does that mean? Well, someone asked them that exact question right here. Why is lending? What does it mean? BlackRock appears to be buying ETH in their active funds, not just offering passive exposure. So they're buying their own Ethereum and they're buying their own Bitcoin. So BlackRock themselves are bullish on these two cryptocurrencies. And here's where DZ goes even further off the rails. So yesterday we saw a lot of ETF outflows. Wall Street was rejecting Bitcoin and we saw a significant decline over the weekend. So when the markets opened on Monday, it made a lot of sense that Wall Street was gonna sell their Bitcoin. Bitcoin. And the headlines look even scarier than the reality here. This is Coin Tribune. Bitcoin falters, record outflows plunge the market. And folks, I just went to Google and hit search on news on Bitcoin ETFs. The other headline that I saw, Bitcoin ETFs dropped 435 million after an inflow streak. That's not it. Spot Bitcoin ETF C, 438 million in outflows. The biggest amount of outflows since the US election, but it wasn't all ETFs that were down. There was an ETF that did well, and that's the ultra short Bitcoin ETF draw record inflows. So Bitcoin ETFs bleeding money and the ETFs shorting Bitcoin are gaining money is that the full story? Because the headlines are telling me to be scared and Wall Street is hating Bitcoin. But what's the numbers say, folks? And I wanna give a big shout out to HODL15. We always talk about how awesome they are at tracking this ETF data. And so this is the Monday flows after the weekend dump. And you had to dive into the numbers here and they report this after markets close, after 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so a lot of this news misses the regular news cycle here. And so when we scroll down, we see massive outflows. That's what all the headlines said, right? You know, all these massive 
outflows, record-breaking outflows, biggest outflows since the election. Grayscale, 158 million outflow. Bitwise, 281 million. ARK Investments, 111 million outflow. Fidelity, even more outflows here. And just a reminder, Bitcoin price impact of these outflows is already behind us. But will iBit post a positive day? And what do you know? BlackRock does it again. IBIT, aka BlackRock, with the 268 million inflow. So while we saw all the negative headlines, BlackRock was accumulating more. Their clients wanted more. BlackRock wanted more. So BlackRock is betting big on Bitcoin. So now is not the time to get shaken out of the market if you're wondering, well, BlackRock just holds it for their clients. No, BlackRock themselves is getting high off their own supply. And folks, I'm DZ for Discover Crypto. I, for one, am not gonna get shaken out of my Bitcoin bags. I am not gonna let BlackRock FUD me and hit that like button if you agree, folks. And in fact, if you want a truly diamond hand, make sure you go get yourself an Arculus cold storage wallet. Do not get shaken out. Don't let those central exchanges steal your Bitcoin either. Go lock it up. Be safe with GetArculus.com. We have a link down below. I'm DZ, and I'll see you and your iBit bags or your Bitcoin at the top.